What is going on? Thank you for stopping in. The New York Jets just wrapped up one of their best days of practice for the offense, and here is everything you need to know. First off, some headlines. Obviously, our thoughts and our prayers are with quarterback Zach Wilson. He is getting the meniscus repair today. So they're going to open it up with the scope, and right away they're going to be able to tell, is it just a meniscus trim and the bone bruise, or is there more damage? So we're going to know probably this evening if it is uh, weeks or months, but either way, the bone bruise pain is something that he's going to be dealing with for quite some time with the discomfort. But if it's just the trim, that two to six week timeline should stay put. That is the hope, and the Jets remain optimistic about that. Now, Dwayne Brown back again, but just in team uh, drills, not jumping in there in 11 on 11 just yet. We did get the details on his contract, and it's a cap hit for just under $4 million for this year with some voided years after that, which is a rarity for Jets contracts, but they don't have a ton um, committed to Dwayne Brown past this year. Also, today is going to be the deadline, 4 p.m. The New York Jets have a 90-man roster. They have to get down to 85, so they're going to cut five people. We probably, me and you, don't even barely know who they are, um, and bigger cuts will come in the following weeks. The health status of our team, Quinn Williams, back-to-back -back days, not practicing due to the ankle. DJ Reed, he took another step back. He was in there on team drills on a pitch count limited. Things trending up for a Reed return soon. Michael Pirine went down with an ankle injury causing a scare, but he jumped right back in and he is good to go. Now the quarterbacks, Joe Flacco, a really, really solid day. Started off completing four consecutive passes in red zone drills, including a touchdown to Conklin and Hall. Overall, completed his first 10 of 10 passes before back-to-back -back incompletions. He also found Corey Davis for back-to-back -back, uh, throws in the end zone, one on a touchdown, and the following play on a two-point conversion. Overall on the day, Flacco was 14 of 17, four touchdowns, and was sacked twice. Lawson got him once, and Jermaine Johnson got him the other time, both beating rookie Max Mitchell. Mike White and Chris Trevler, good day for them too. Offense is humming on all uh, first, second, and third teams. Struggler with multiple touchdown passes on the day, one to Tevin Coleman, and Mike White had a touchdown pass to Braxton Berrios. So what's some more of the good? Well, the offense, again, had really smooth chemistry. Uh, the defense has been getting the better of them most days in camp, and it's been a lot of pressure, a lot of sacks. Today, it looked like it was going to be the same with Carl Lawson, a sack on the first play, but after that, the offensive line held up, and the quarterbacks did their job. Garrett Wilson had three catches and really flashed his yards after catch ability uh, with a couple of nice moves after a screen pass. And the summer of Tyler Conklin and Brees Hall continues. Tyler Conklin continues to be the most targeted Jets pass catcher all throughout camp and continues to be a red zone favorite for every quarterback that's out there. Uh, Brees Hall, the Jets have never had a running back catch over five touchdowns ever, and they're Record for receptions for a tight end is 69 catches in a season. I think one of those records falls this year. We talked about Jermaine Johnson. He has recorded eight straight practices uh, with a sack. Now, who surprised? Lawrence Cager, who had a nice showing Friday night against Philly, had a couple of nice catches, including a one-hander. Denzel Mims had a beautiful leaping grab between two defenders on a contested catch from quarterback Chris Strebler. Hamza Nazardin had two pass breakups, including one that saves a touchdown, uh, to Conklin. Ashton Davis, according to Brian Costello, had a nice practice and was all around the ball. Uh, with Ashton, we know he has the speed to get to the ball. It's really the tackling with him. So we'll see how he does in the next few preseason games. That's it for me. I'll be back tomorrow.